Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the latest BenQ Home Entertainment Projector Model TH585. It has 3,500 lumens and native 1080p resolution. So you can use this to enjoy movies as well as enjoy gaming because it does have low input lags when it comes to gaming and also supports 3D when it comes to 3D games as well as 3D movies. It also have a built-in 10 watt speaker that you can enjoy stereo at the same time that you are playing your game as well as music. So here's everything that was inside the box. First of all, we have a quick starter guide that tells you exactly how everything works for this projector. Next, we have a remote control that will require two AAA battery. Luckily, it does come with the two battery inside the package already, so you will not have to buy any battery whatsoever. Next, we also have a VGA cable and we have a power cord. And lastly, of course, we have our beautiful BenQ projector. Now, I will have to first say BenQ projector, specifically this one, TH585, which is my first experience with BenQ projector, I was quite surprised as to how well, how clear and crisp it actually show even in bright daylight with the light all on inside the house which is really really surprising to me and at the same time it is also a very good thing so now with all the lights on inside the house we all know that this projector is not as quite clear as our flat screen led tv however for this being a projector and coming in at its price tag again with the lights on you can still enjoy all of your movies and gaming and that's pretty impressive so with the bulb that comes with this projector it have a lifetime of 15,000 hours which means if you watch three hours of movies or gaming every single day this will last you nearly 14 years now if you up that to four hours every single day then it'll last you up to 10 years now let's take a closer look at the details on the projector itself so on the front on the left here we have the fan opening outlets to cool down the projector bin q brand right there 1080p and here we have our lens over to our right hand side this is where our 10 watt speaker is actually located and we also have another fan right here to cool down the projector now when it comes to the the speaker it is a 10 watt speaker but of course I don't use a speaker that is built into this projector much and this is probably one of the things I like least about the projector which is this speaker but you know it also have output and input for external speaker that way you can actually project all the amazing sound to bigger speakers and enjoy your movies and gaming as well so when it comes to the back of the projector now this thing actually have many many inputs and output including some of the old style input for PCs VGA monitor out as well as the OS232. Now on this side we have audio input as well as audio output using a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now HDMI we have two of them and we also have a 1.5 amp USB input. This can also be used to power your uh, Chromecast devices or any devices that connect into these HDMI ports that requires power. You can actually use the power from this USB input and then power up these two devices over here which is what I do. I use the Chromecast to plug it in here and then use this USB to power up my Chromecast at the same time. Now lastly at the bottom here of course we have our power input. Moving over to this side really nothing much just another look at the fan. Now on top of the projector we have the BenQ brand again. Here's the power button simply press once to power it on and to power it off simply press it two times and then here we have the source control and we also have the eco blank. This will actually turn off the screen allows you to listen to the audio without the screen being on and here's the auto this is where you put the source into auto which means when you plug something into the HDMI 1 or HDMI 2 it will automatically text it as long as it has an input power and menu button back button and then left right up and down and OK button which is the exact same control that you would find on the controller right here so everything you see on here you will find on here one control feature that I really like that they include a specific button for it on the remote control is the key keystone control so to control the keystone all you have to do is press this button right here to the left and then you can control the keystone to adjust the picture to make it look perfectly on your wall and that's really really convenient and lastly on top right here we have the zoom and focus control simply play with this move it over to the right or over to the left to get the perfect picture display now to the bottom of the projector of course this projector does have three eight millimeter screw holes that will allow you to mount this projector on your ceiling and you also have these three screws right here and which you can loosen to tilt the projector however way you want to have a perfect display. So let's go ahead and connect it to my Chromecast.
podcast and I'll show you some sample video clips of how well this projector actually works. All right, guys, a couple of things I want you to know is, first of all, I am inside with the light completely on at the same time, it is actually during daylight time right now with the window wide open. So now I'm gonna power on the projector to show you how well it actually display with the light on during the day and you will be quite surprised as to how well it actually show. So I'm about eight foot away from the wall right now and the picture you're seeing right now is about 100 inch and might be a little bit larger than that. And you can go back as far as you want and you can project it upwards of 150 foot into even 170 foot. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna actually close this window to show you how good it is with the window closed at the same time with the light still on. And so here it is with the window closed and next I'm gonna actually turn off the light as well. And here it is with the light turned off as well as the window closed during the day, guys. As you can see, it still show super, super clear. And if I zoom in closer, you can even read the little details of the wording down here and nothing is faded away whatsoever. So when it comes to nighttime completely in the dark, it shows extremely, extremely clear. This is probably one of the cleanest, clearest, crispiest picture that I've seen from all the projector that I've reviewed in the past. So due to copyright reasons, I can only play my own video videos that way my video don't get flagged down by YouTube so let's go ahead and show you the video and how well this projector shows what's going on guys so in this video we are going to be looking at one of the world's best portable projector the Nebula Voice 2 by Anchor I previously owned a Nebula capture in the back seat but either way uh, he is older than three years old and he still fits here so we want this front or back seat he will do just fine and um if you have a great goal of course seat, it will also fit in the front or in the back. Now, I don't have a great goal of Another feature I really like about this projector is if you check in the menu, it allows you to actually adjust the different settings for the picture displays. For example, let's say my wall right now it is slightly yellow, so I can actually go into the menu and select that I have a background wall uh, of yellow or green or whatever color that you have. So if you select wall color right here, if you have light yellow, it will adjust the picture entirely as you can see right there. Or go to pink if you have a pink wall, light green wall, blue wall, or just leave it off like this. That means you have a white wall. So that's a very, very nice feature to have. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a review of this full face snorkel mask. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to be doing an unbox and a review of one of the most advanced pocket projector in the world, the Nebula by Anchor. So as you can see right here we have now one thing I will have to say that I like best about this projector is its brightness and how good it shows during light on and bright daytime guys. It did much better than I expected to do and when lights is off in the dark no question asked quality is really really amazing for its price range. So in conclusion no doubt this projector puts out amazing picture with high quality clear crisp and bright at the same time. The one thing I dislike most about this projector is the built in speaker quality wise of the speaker not the best but of course that can be made up by connecting external speaker into the projector and realistically i never really relied much on the built-in speaker of this projector anyway but one thing i will have to say though i was really really surprised of how well this projector showed during bright daytime with the light on and it's just much much better than i expected it and during the dark with no light on no question asked it has beautiful and amazing picture display so guys with all that being said, links will be in the description for you guys to check out for further details. I will see you all in the next video.